and welcome to the next story in our Christmas Read Aloud series. Last time we read a Berenstain Bears book um, about the angel, and this time we're reading The Joy of Giving. I hope you enjoy it. It was the week before Christmas and all over bear country, everyone was busy getting ready for the big day. They were Christmas shopping and Christmas decorating and Christmas everything. Down at the chapel in the woods, the cubs of bear country were busy getting ready for their Christmas Eve play. It was the story of the first Christmas and brother and sister had an important role. They were to be the camel of the three wise bears. Sister was the front end of the camel and brother brought up the rear. They thought it was the best costume ever. Mrs. Ursula, their Sunday school teacher, was directing. All right, wise bears, she called, enter stage right. The three wise bears came on stage. They carried gifts and were long, wore long robes, crowns, and fake beards. They followed the Christmas star made of foil covered cardboard that hung above the stage. The first wise bear was played by Sammy Bruno who had a loose front tooth that made him a little hard to understand. A star, a star, he called, I see a star. Mrs. Ursula sighed, okay camel, you're on. Sister and brother followed the three wise bears, but it was hard to see out of the costume and sister accidentally knocked over a palm tree. The three wise bears tripped, going down in a tangle. Oh dear, oh dear, said Mrs. Ursula. Will we ever be ready? Sorry, Mrs. Ursula, said sister, poking her head out. It's hard to see in there. I'll need to make your peepholes bigger, said Mrs. Ursula. That's enough for today, cubs. It's time to go home. The cubs took off their costumes and went into the chilly evening air. Burr, said sister, it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Yeah, agreed brother, and looking that way too. The whole neighborhood was decorated for Christmas. Sister and brother walked home in the soft glow of many colored lights. The next day, the Bear family went shopping. It was time for brother and sister to pick out a few special gifts. This year, they had two crisp $10 bills from Grizzly Gramps and Grant to spend on others. Of course, brother and sister hoped they would have some money left for themselves. Sister was saving for a brand new beer bee doll. <laughs> and brother wanted a special rubber band power model airplane. Papa and Honey helped Brother do his shopping while Mama went with Sister. Brother picked out the Beer Bee doll for outfit that he found on sale for Sister, and Sister bought a small airplane model for Brother. Each just cost a few dollars. Mom and Papa thought that maybe each cub should have spent more money on one another. What about the joy of giving, whispered Mama to Papa. It seems Brother and Sister only care about the joy of getting. True, agreed Papa, but let's not interfere. They'll learn about the joy of giving for themselves. Over the next few days, Christmas excitement in bear country grew and grew. Brother and sister could hardly wait. They were going to be a camel and get lots of presents too. Play rehearsals went well. Sister could see better out of the bigger peepholes and everyone knew their lines, but it was still a little hard to understand Sammy Bruno. When Christmas Eve finally arrived, practically everyone in bear country jammed the chapel in the woods to see the cubs perform. A hush fell as the curtain opened and the play began. First, the angel Gabriel came to Mary telling her that she would give birth to Jesus. Then Joseph and Mary journeyed to Bethlehem where the innkeeper gave them shelter in a stable. There, Mary gave birth to a tiny baby who was laid in a manger.
An angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds, sharing the good news of Jesus' birth so that they could go and worship the newborn king. Finally, the three wise bears and their faithful camel trooped on stage. The foil-covered Christmas star hung high above the stable, sparkling in the spotlight. A star! A star! I see a star! Sammy said clearly his loose tooth had come out backstage. The three wise bears kneeled before Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. The shepherds and the angel joined them. Everyone bowed low before the tender baby. The three wise bears opened their treasures and gave Jesus their precious gifts. The audience grew very still. Then someone in the back began to sing, Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. And the rest of the audience joined in near the end. Sleep in heavenly peace. Peeking out of the camel costume, tears came to sister and brother's eyes. It seemed they had never understood the joy of giving until that moment. All the gifts of the Christmases of all the years went back to those first gifts given to the tiny baby long ago. The Christmas Eve play was over and the audience cheered. Everyone felt the true spirit of Christmas had been with them that night. On Christmas morning, brother and sister led the family downstairs bright and early, but instead of heading to their own piles of presents, they went to their gifts for each other. Merry Christmas, they said to each other, holding out their presents. From one end of the camel to the other, said brother. Thanks, laughed sister. You're a first-rate backup. Brother and sister were delighted with their gifts and gave each other big bear hugs. Honey opened her presents and brother and sister joined in. In the back of their minds, though, they were still thinking about the money they had left over from their shopping trip. Later that morning, the family went to the chapel in the woods for the Christmas Day service. A light snow covered the ground and all of bear country glistened in the sun. On the way, sister and brother noticed a group of bears singing, playing Christmas carols. They were collecting money for the needy in a big black pot. Brother and sister looked at each other, dug into their pockets, and dropped all of their money into the pot. Mama and Papa smiled with pride. You know what the good book says, Mama told them. It is more blessed to give than to receive. We know, said brother. We receive an awful lot, so it's time we gave some of it back. Look, said sister, feeling in her pocket. I still have a quarter. Honey reached for it and sister put it in her hand. Then little Honey, holding on to Papa, toddled over to the big black pot and dropped the quarter in. The bears playing music paused. Merry Christmas, they all said. Merry Christmas, answered the bear family. And that was the joy of giving. I really hope you enjoyed this story and that you will continue watching all of the books that I have planned for us all the way up until Christmas. All right, see you next time. Bye.